Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In War of the Visions, let's talk about level 99 UR vision cards. Now, this is a topic that I've been kind of thinking about more recently. Now, this will be a, a different video from usual. I'll just be thinking aloud, and please leave a comment with your thoughts and experiences. I think the comment section here is going to be more interesting and important than the actual video. <laughs> uh, but first of all, I love the, uh, the cards in the game. I like to think of them as a reference to the uh, tarot cards in Ogre Battle and Tactics Ogre, and I also like the role that they have in the gameplay. Uh, with equipment, you have just three pieces, and that doesn't seem like very much. Uh, but you add vision cards uh, with personal abilities and party abilities, and then you have lots of customization that you can do. And finally, the uh, MR and lower rarity cards are plenty usable. I still use a ton of them in my uh, Whale JP account, and I think like 80% of players would get everything done that they wanted to do in the game without using any UR cards at all. And where the game is now, max UR vision cards are really for folks that want to excel at PvP. Later, perhaps, there will be high difficulty PvE content where max UR vision cards will really help, uh, but they're not in the game yet. I do expect them to come someday. Uh, but recently I've had three epiphanies about level 99 UR vision cards, and maybe I'm late here in realizing this. Uh, but one, you have to move mountains to max one in less than a year. Uh, two, you only get the most important part of the buff when you go from level 98 to 99. And then three, uh, the maxed cards can be so good, uh, they can change the way like a PvP team can act on auto, or it can make a certain unit or team composition much more viable. They're kind of like the super trust masters of this game. That's not a perfect comparison, like in terms of like how you get them and stuff, but in terms of like their effect on gameplay, I think it's similar-ish. And up to now, I've been mostly focusing on units uh, in my JP account. But as you can see, I have a full screen of UR units at level 99. And this is too much. I feel like I went too far with units. So as you know, I've stepped back from pulling the Hatcher, I've stepped back from uh, really pulling for units. But now, instead, I could consider going after uh, vision cards. Uh, make vision cards my main focus for spending and pulling. Uh, but kind of like what I want to investigate in this video is thinking about, like, do I have to do it? And then if I did do it, which cards would I want to work on? And then, like, what about moving to spending and pulling for vision cards exclusively? And then like essentially just giving up on units and then just using whatever falls into my lap through like free pulls or whatever. I'm sure Square and Gumi wouldn't want that, <laughs> uh, but it would be like a zen, less expensive, fairly luck-free method of playing uh, since new vision cards have the guaranteed get step up banners. Uh, it would be an unsexy way to play the game because new units are the most fun thing and your progress on units in general would then be slower than most people. Uh, but if you felt like you already had enough units, it might be a good way to go, and with nice vision cards you can get new interesting ways to play uh, with your existing units. And then the UR vision cards that interest me the most are the ones that don't have equivalent MR versions. Uh, conversely, the MR vision cards that interest me the most are the ones without an equivalent UR. <laughs> and that's why I went so hard on Fenrir, because there was no lower rarity equivalent uh, at that time. And so, like, Odin is also really interesting, because there are no MR cards that have Maneater. Uh, but similarly, like with um, this card here, there's no UR card that has a party of ability of Ice Slayer. So this is an interesting MR card to me. The thing about vision cards is that if you care to get the most out of a card through, like, team building, they kind of nudge you towards particular team builds, and nudge you towards certain opponents, more than any piece of equipment or Esper would, uh, because the Vision cards have team abilities. Espers don't have team abilities, uh, equipment don't have team abilities, so you can't like base a team off of one piece of that. But you could certainly base an entire idea for a team off of one Vision card. Uh, but you look at like this Horn Vision card, uh, personal ability gives you magic up, and then party ability gives slash resistance. And so if you wanted to get the most from this card, uh, you would put it on a magic user that already has some slash resistance, like Miranda or Akitafe. And then if you wanted to go further with a party ability, bring more high slash resistance units, uh, like Super Stern, Gurasura, Thancred, people like that. 
And then you could consider going after slash only type opponents uh, in Arena. So go after Orlando, uh, Delita, people like that. And then from there, fill out the equipment and the espers that you need and want for there. And if you are having trouble making teams for PvP, uh, starting from a strong vision card uh, could be a good technique. So now, when new vision cards come out in JP, I will seriously consider pulling the guaranteed get step up and then building it to at least three stars during the initial release period. Uh, but they must be immediately useful to me. Like uh, Typhon here would have been a bad choice, uh, because despite my best efforts, uh, I don't have a wind magic user to give him to. <laughs> uh, but just like when a new unit is released, uh, where it is worth investigating their weaknesses and counters that already exist in the game, when a new card comes out, uh, it would be worth investigating what team builds uh, that card is encouraging you to build. A tricky question comes up when you consider limited time cards. Like here, this is a Final Fantasy XIV card. Uh, personal ability is uh, Dark Resistance up, and then Party ability is Light Attack up. Um, so you can pretty much imagine what kind of team uh, this card would want you to build. The benefit would be tremendous, but it would also be a major investment in a short time. So I don't... Mm, I don't know. Limited time vision cards might be difficult. Or, of course, I could just stick to my original plan of just kind of scaling back, not pulling any new units, uh, continue to use my MR vision cards and like my two-star UR cards, and probably be just fine. Uh, but if I ever really wanted to get serious about PvP, uh, then maybe I would want to uh, start moving towards getting more max UR vision cards. And so I'll be paying more attention to new cards that come out. And then like uh, these select tickets where I can get uh, shards for vision cards, I'll be more uh, aggressive about picking these up. Um, so far I've been getting maybe about one in three when they do appear, uh, but maybe I do want to get more of those. And then I might even want to uh, consider pulling more uh, the guaranteed vision card hatchers. Um, just like with the uh, MR units that I am maxing, uh, the more that you max, uh, the more Mog Bentles you will get uh, when you pull them randomly from the hatcher, and that will mean more shards, and then more max cards, and more max units down the line, and so more Mog Metals. And it just so it kind of just uh, builds on itself until you're getting more and more and more. But yeah, in the comments, I'd be really interested to hear uh, what people have to say. Um, if you have a level 99 UR Vision card, or if you have multiple, uh, let me know what they are, let me know how you like them, uh, let me know what your favorite one is, and uh, let me know if, if you see like a really noticeable difference in that card and like the MR equivalent, if there is such a thing. And also let me know if there's anybody else that is kind of moving maybe away from units and towards vision cards. That might be a little bit early uh, where the global game is, but there are some whales out there that uh, maybe are considering that. <laughs> Alrighty, kind of a, a different video from usual, but uh, thanks for watching, thanks for your input, and we'll see you again. Take care.